Hey guys, so today we'll be doing a one-to-one -one NAT setup. Um, I'll show you a short presentation of what we're gonna go through, show you the lab environment, go into Meraki um, dashboard, set up the one-to-one -one NAT, and then finally just test it on a, a laptop. And let's see if it works and we'll take a few captures. Okay, so here we have our uh, setup uh, of our environment. Uh, so, so this area is just the internet this here is kind of my home network uh, my personal home network and then finally uh, you'll have the lab which this is the meraki environment uh, and uh, the mx which is a stateful firewall uh, so that means that traffic can go out um, from clients within uh, the meraki network but when clients from the outside such as this outside client in my home network tries to access stuff internally the mx will say no unless you have a let's say a nat uh, rule set up for example and that's what we're going to go through uh, today in a one-to-one -one nat essentially we're just going to say that um, all uh, addresses that are going from uh, any client going to 192.168.0.50 that is um, will be sent over to 172.16.20.4 um, so let's just go through how the packet will look so you'll start here at 192.168.0.21 uh, um, the source of the packet is this client and the destination is uh, an IP address which I've configured on the uh, one to one NAT rule um, so let's go ahead and look at that so let's change Let's send that packet over to the MX1. Uh, na now, nothing's happened, nothing's changed. The packet's just hit the MX1, and the MX sees that it's sent over to the 192.168.0.50 IP address, which has a one to one NAT rule set up. And after that, what it will do is it, it will translate it and it will say, okay, my NAT rule says to send all of the traffic. Uh, sent to this particular address dot 50 and send it to a private address 172.16.20.4 which is our server's address so what will happen now is the MX will send that over to the server and essentially that packet has now arrived so that's the whole process of how the packet uh, travels um, so let's go ahead into dashboard and configure it and uh, then we'll finally test it so let's go ahead uh, so here we are in the dashboard under security and SD1 and firewall. So um, I've gone into firewall page. I'll come here and let's scroll down over to our forwarding rules. Um, here you will have a one to one NAT, and that's what we're focusing on today. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a one to one NAT, and let's say it's a, a video server. So uh, this is our internal uh, over here. This is our internal video server. Now the public IP uh, that I'm gonna be sending the traffic to. Um, so of course I'm not running a public IP. It's kind of, uh, so this 192.168, whoops, uh, 0 0.50 is kind of just within the WAN network. So this is the external network and this is the internal network that we're trying to reach. Uh, we're gonna create a rule for that. So let's go ahead and do that. So you might have, I don't know, uh, 80.80.80.80 .80 .80, uh, for example so let's go ahead and configure that so let's go uh, 192.168.0.50 and that's our public IP um, we're gonna then translate it to say okay now you need to send we want you to send all of the traffic coming to this uh, public IP on the on your WAN and send it over to our internal server IP. Simple as that. Now you can configure the uplink, so you have to configure the uplink, sorry, uh, either internet one or internet two. Uh, you'd have to set up another rule if you wanted it to be on internet two, but I'm gonna select internet one for now. Now this is uh, an important part, allow inbound connections. So you have to configure this, otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, so allow inbound connections. So you select that and now a few items have shown. So let's go into protocol uh, and let's say 
we're going to allow any for now. On the ports section, um, you could select a port. So if it was a particular port that you wanted to allow, you can. But I'm not going to do ports for now. I'm just going to select any um, and the remote IP. So you have to also just type in any uh, and that will be fine. So let's go down and click Save Changes and uh, that should be all so now this rule is currently set up and it will send traffic anything coming on 192.168.0.50 i'm not going to type it out too long will be sent over to this internal server here uh, so let's go ahead and test that in a lab environment um, by me sending essentially a ping from the outside client my laptop and it should go over to the server and get a response so again, just to show you quickly, uh, so I'm just going to send an ICMP from my client. It's going to hit the MX on 192.168.0.50, uh, and then the MX is going to translate it over to our server over here, 172.16.20.4. So let's go and test that. Let's head over to our testing environment. Um, so here, I on the left, so let's just check the IP addresses. I know I said it was a server, but it's actually just a workstation for now so i'm just going to click ip config um, and let's take a look at my ip address for my ethernet adapter so you'll have 172.16.20.4 and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, run a quick command to just show the ip address of my workstation 192.168.0.21 as you can see here it's an outside client so let's go ahead so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ping let's say 192.168.0.50 and underneath you'll see uh, I've set up a capture it's running and I've filtered it for ICMPs um, which are pings and let's just press enter on my Mac terminal and you should see them start to come in um, so that's how you set up a uh, one-to-one -one NAT and test it as simple um, uh, it's reaching the machine um, it's not saying a response found but that's fine you know that uh, the traffic has traversed um, so it's gone from this outside client it's hit here on the one which is stateful and then it's hit the server so the MX is doing exactly what it should do, uh, which is the one-to-one -one that. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, and I hope this was helpful.